Hello and welcome back to Umbar. There are barely any places in this world that have not been grabbed by a major power, but this time we're going to seek to solve that and we're going to grab the ones in our corner. We're going to grab Kiga uh, or Karga, Haruzan, and hopefully uh, some of uh, Pizarsan. Let's just have a look at what our truces are. Uh, wait, that's not us. There we go. I was like, I don't remember going to war with any of these places. So we got a five-year truce here. We got a 13-month truce there, but no truce with the Emirate of Haruzan. Oh, so we could have that immediately if we wanted to. Now, we are currently losing money because our men-at-arms are currently reinforcing, so we probably don't want to do that right away. But that's probably our first target right down here. Then this, will, this truce will be up, so we attack them. And then this one in a couple of years afterwards will be up, at which point we'll have no land left on our little bit of the world to actually, well, you know, conquer. This is all assuming that Mordor doesn't attack us, um, and that Gondor doesn't attack us. So, that's the plan. So let's uh, go, like, speed 5 and unpause. Also, how old are we? We are 60. Okay, so we're reaching the point where we are getting into danger of death. We're still good health. We have an extra 20 years, but it could mean, like, in 20 years' time, we could be dead. Which is unfortunate. Scandalous priest. Oh, no. Well, uh, I'm going to choose the top option and gain some piety. Which increased our level of devotion. Nice. We're a paragon of virtue now. Which gives us some extra opinion. Nice. Gaining a little bit of money. Uh, in a second or two, we should gain... Yeah, there you go. A lot more money. Things are starting to uh, get good. I'm not going to go to your feast because I'm a recluse and it lowers my stress to say no. Demand payment of one gold. Uh, and we would gain 70 stress. That's just a really bad trade deal, honestly. Uh, I think we can afford not to take that one. Oh, they're at war. So, they're attacking Gondor and they're winning. Okay, interesting. Uh, I think we want to attack uh, these guys. Oh, sorry. These guys now. Oh, they've changed their name. They're now uh, Kumar. Okay. Well, declare war. Conquer duchy. I see that cost me 600. Is that the best one? I think it might be. Yeah, conquer duchy. Let's go. Uh, where are my troops? Uh, let's just raise them up manually. So rally point. Grab them. Stick them over. Oh, it's already here? Oh, well, that makes it much easier. Raise all. Uh, do they only have they only have one province, I think? So we can just walk in and take it? Yeah, that would do it. Uh, somebody got a new alliance. You got an alliance with my vassal. Seems unlikely they'll join. We captured the leader, but actually I'm going to wait till the siege is complete. There we go. We have now taken 13 others in the siege. Uh, we cannot mass ransom because nobody has any gold. Nobody in this entire, like, out of this 18 people in prison has a single piece of gold. Really? Alright, I guess it's all coming out of the same guy's uh, pocket, so, yeah, okay. Enforce demands. Uh, I, did we give them all back? No, we only gave back, like, two. That's okay. Now we can start ransoming them to uh, other people, uh, like, using other people to ransom. Ah, we can use their own gold now. Fantastic. Um, that's fine. Disband the troops. And now we are slightly over our domain limit as well. Did I give any of these away? Uh, well, I didn't give this away, but I could. Is this part of the same duchy? Yeah. Hey, you. I am going to grant you that. He now very much likes me. You want to convert? Not really. I actually went... Did that go down as I hovered over it? Anyway. I'm going to send it through anyway. I thought that it said it was like 53 or something. Anyway. None of these people can be ransomed. Um, but we can probably... Not ransom. Uh, we can probably... Uh, demand conversion. Renounce claims. And release them into the wild. There we go. You will not convert. Demand conversion. There we go. You. Uh, we can't demand convert. Too young, too young. You, um, we can hopefully recruit as well. Nice. He really doesn't like me, so recruiting him to my court, I realize, might not be the best plan I've ever had, but there you have it. You, we're just going to go for a demand conversion. 
You, a little bit of demand conversion. You, demand conversion recruit. There we go. You, we're getting money for. You, a little demand conversion, renounce claims recruit. Um, you as well, a little demand conversion recruit. And that's fine. Right. So hooks expired and we get a ton of these little bits and pieces. Nice. We gained 15 gold there. Right, what have we got? Betrothed can marry. Send across. Wonderful, they have married. We demand four gold. I will take my four gold off of you. That seems good. Oh, our stress actually went up, which is increasing uh, the amount of money we make, which is cool. Although it did change the music track, which is less cool. All right, yeah, you won't convert. That's okay. Right, how's our truce? Oh, it's over? Oh, that's good. Well, let's move our armies from there to like up here. And then we can maybe attack in a second or two. How many men do you have? The Bite and Tear. Uh, the lore master has shown me the ins and outs of fierce and overwhelming tactics. My final test is a mock battle against him to show him what I have learned. So a 50% chance to, uh, to prove what I have learned and a 50% chance I have not learned enough. Uh, sure, let's try it. 50-50. Um, he only has 700 troops. I think we are going to wait one tick and then declare war. Perhaps there are a few more things for you to learn. Lore Master Belzagar reaches down a hand to uh, help me up from the mud. My troops put in less than a stellar showing. I must confess that he might be right. Yeah, do it again. Right. Uh, let's declare a war. For a county. And then down here, I'm only going to raise my men at arms. There we go. And attack. Betrothed can marry. Send it through. Wonderful. Available lifestyle perk. Uh, serve the crown. We need this uh, control growth so we stop losing control in all of our provinces. Seems good to me. And that should mean that... Oh, you're not doing control anywhere anymore? Oh, okay. Um, I think I... Actually, I might have taken him off of it at some point. Yeah, does this mean that we can now... Oh, wait. What happened to the evil stuff that was everywhere? Oh, the evil's worn off, I think? Oh. Well, that's good, then. We should just uh, choose one of these and start making money off of it, then. Some of these have some severe negatives, actually. We should get rid of these. Yeah. Let's choose uh, this one and get rid of some of those severe negatives. There we go. Right. Attacking in. Uh... Actually go to the right place. There we go. Child of my dynasty. We have won the battle. I'm just going to take the stress there. Um, That's fine. Ignore those. Close that one. Finish the siege. And we have won. We captured six prisoners. Any of them worth any money? Of course not. Right. Enforce demands. Nice. In the spand all. And now we just have this last little bit in the corner. Now, what is our truce with them? Three years. So for three years, we cannot declare a war. At least not one that's right next to us. I mean, unless we're declaring on Gondor or Mordor, which both seem like very um, bad options, I would say, to say the least. Right. This one up here, um, we can give away to maybe this guy if it's within the same duchy. Some, it's within a different duchy. Okay, in which case we will give it away to... Uh, its spouse is already married, or its spouse already uh, has land. That's the one I was looking for. Spouse already has land. Okay, if all my spouses have, all of, all of my sibling spouses have land, now we'll move on to our children. So let's start with our daughter. So daughter, son-in-law, grant land, this land. There we go. Perfect. Uh, and we're also going to demand his conversion while we're at it. Nice. Right. Uh, so that's good. Anything else that we need to do? Don't think so. I think we're mostly okay here. Um, I think I'm going to leave you on collect taxes as I do need money. I could start converting some faith uh, though. Like maybe over here. Let's do a little bit of conversion. There you go. It's going to take eight years but at least it'll happen. Right. And then we just unpause and let it roll on. Hey, it's converted to our religion. Wonderful. Oh, wait a second. Prisoners. Uh, 10, so we can't do anything. 53, negotiate release. 
com mm, you won't convert. Okay, well, stay in my prison. 58. You won't convert. Okay, stay in my prison. Uh, you. Hey, you'll even renounce your claims. Uh, oh, I don't want to recruit you. There we go. You. Uh, you will not convert. Yeah, I already knew that. And then the rest of you are children. All right, well, you can stay in prison then. Right. One of you gets out, the rest of you stay. 50-50. We are now reckless. Fantastic. So that's just a... Where do you even see um, martial traits? Anyway, we've gained the trait reckless. Um, the lore master comes riding up to me. Impressive, he shouts. The enemy levies stand in awe at the efficiency of my other troops. There may be little doubt that I've understood what it means to be reckless. I've learned so much. I don't even know where it shows that, actually. I'm now lo Oh, it's right there. Yeah, reckless. So it lowers our minimum battle roll, but raises our maximum battle roll. Um, but the other that we don't lead armies, it's pretty much um, just a, not really a point we need to worry about. I spent time with my friends, so my stress uh, goes away. Now to think about it, I could also uh, work off some stress here. I'll get a sweaty stench, which lowers some opinion, but that seems fine. Cool, 32 stress gone. I could also seclude myself. Uh, which will cost me some prestige, but I will lose stress. Nice, we've done that as well. Stress has dropped down. Not enough that we're actually down to the next level, but hey, down a little bit. Right. The first Dark Lord. While studying the tactics of ancient wars, I was amazed to learn about the start of the Dagor uh, Bragolak. After years of siege to his fortress at Angbang, uh, at Angband, Morgoth, the first Dark Lord, sent forth terrible rivers of fire and lava from Thangorodrim and poisonous fumes from the Iron Mountains. In the wake of these fires came the now fully grown Glor uh, Glorung, the Balrogs, and the armies of orcs in numbers that the elves had never conceived. Thus began the Battle of the Sudden Flame. Um... It's interesting that we're learning battle tactics from this. I'm not entirely sure that we can send forth terrible f rivers of fire and lava, but um, we can annihilate enemies, and get that gets us aggressive attacker, which is enemy fatal casualties. We increase our supply with logistician. Uh, greatest strength was, versati <laughs> was versatility. Yes, very versatile um, rivers of fire and lava. Or uh, he was a fool to face all of Middle-earth. I will annihilate my enemies. I'm now aggressive and reckless. Um, oh, Isengard Unleashed is losing? Nope, they're winning. They're defending, but they're they're, they're going to win it in the end. Okay, that's fine. Well, at least normality has resumed. Worker diligence? What's this? Building construction time. Cool. Spouse, divide and conquer. Um... One of my emirs has been supporting another emir and his independence faction. However, my wife has a plan to change that. Uh, just increase his opinion of me. Yeah. That's fine. Hey, we've increased control and lost lack of sheriffs. Nice. We then gained low control somewhere else, but that's okay. Uh, I'm not going to attend, which actually lowers my stress level, which is very, very nice. Okay. When's our truce? Truce is in 16 months. Okay. A little bit of peace before then is never bad. The faction disbanded, Thieves Guild went away. We've discovered somebody's murder secret. Nice, another child of my dynasty. Hey, with that murder secret, can we turn it into anything? Like a little bit of blackmail? Wonderful. Um, I will demand some payment for that. Four gold? Uh, nope, because it would make us stressed. Okay, well, unfortunate. There you have it. It's not really worth enough for me to be very stressed over it. Hey, we gained some extra um, piety as well. The deserters. I'm leading a patrol when we spot a group of figures emerging from the darkness of night. Hooded cloaks obscured their faces, but by one's ungainly gait, I recognize Alquandil, my champion. My lord, whispers one of my men. They're deserting. What should we do? Marshall challenged them. Uh, my spy master has come to me with grave news. Somebody is plotting to kill me. What's new? After a short scuffle, the deserting soldiers are apprehended. Every soldier present, both loyal and not, knows the punishment for this kind of betrayal can be harsh. The air is thick with anticipation and fear. My lord, 
Al Quandil meets my gaze with tired eyes. They are only children. We just want to go home. I mean, we're not even at war with anyone, and you're deserting? Okay. So we can gain a martial lifestyle perk, dr uh, gain dread, and also gain overworked soldiers to lower our advantage? Okay. You'll be scrubbing the, la the latrines uh, for months? Or let me tell you a story about discipline and honor. Let's try that. The whole situation could have turned out better. I thought a rousing speech would inspire the deserting soldiers. Make them all work. Uh, make them work all the harder to prove themselves worthy of the mercy shown to them. However, even if they did return to the ranks, the fire had gone from their eyes. The soldiers that were on patrol with me, on the other hand, seemed to soak up the speech like spiced wines. Hey, we got movement speed. Cool. Um, I was hoping for that perk, but anyway, whatever. Alliance expired with somebody because they died. Prisoners are dying in a dungeon. Are any of them old enough to be released yet? Uh, you are. Okay. Negotiate release. Demand conversion recruit. Nice. Right. That seems good. How's our uh, truce going? It's non-existent. Oh, wonderful. So do you want a man's home or strict organization? Increase control and county progress gain plus 20%. That seems really nice. Yeah. There's only 10 months left till we get that one. Uh, don't need to worry about any of those. Get rid of this. I think it might be time to declare war. Yes. Hello there. Oh, you're allied with somebody? You? Oh, with my vassal. Mm, that's not going to go too well for you. Uh, conquer. I can conquer for somebody's claims or I can conquer the duchy. Let's take the duchy. Right. And then we'll move this over here. How many troops do you have? Out of curiosity. A thousand. Ah, okay. Men at arms only. Please raise. Please raise. Oh, wait, we raised. Do you see that? They were like, ah, a zero man army. We can attack. And then immediately, oh no. Oh no, the army is much larger than we initially thought. Right. Keep chasing in. Well, we could just head here and then, like, what are you going to do about it, basically? Switch on to the person who's better at sieging. And, well, I got that. Now, now what's your plan? We captured somebody and his grandson. Uh, neither of which are worth any money, because I believe they don't have any. Oh, over here to the castle. Well, we'll take this one as well. Somebody's still trying to kill me, I believe. Hey, somebody's opinion went up of me. Um, I still want to attack uh, a little bit more, in the hopes that we can make a little bit more money. Three prisoners can be ransomed. Let's do it. Hey, we made some money. Right. They've defeated their army. We've taken the last one, which has now given us more prisoners, which we can hopefully ransom. There you go. A little bit more money off of that as well. Looking good. Let's enforce demands. Nice. So we've now taken all this land in the corner, which is all part of this duchy, which is all a new duchy for us. So I'm going to choose my second daughter and give her... Um, Oh, actually, did somebody already hold some of this land? I suppose. I'm actually, I'm still going to do it, though. Yeah, I'm going to give her husband uh, these two bits of land here. Nice. Uh, and then they can work out what they're doing with them. We could go and make all of these titles, create them, and sort them out. Um, there are two reasons for not doing it. One, because I don't really want to spend all my money on that. And two, if we end up dying, what I need is I need to get up to this living legend uh, level more quickly. Um, just so that, you know, we can actually press the Castamere claim. Or the Castamere claims. Is, is that what it's called? Yeah, the Castamere claim. Um, so, if I have some titles to create, I can just spend money that pushes our prestige up, which then allows us to get level of fame quicker. So, there's, there's some logic behind what I'm doing. A little bit of logic. Not a lot, but a little bit. I get 14 gold from this captain. Still not enough. Okay. So, what's the plan now? We've taken all of this. Gondor is actually weaker than us. Is this the time? Do we declare on Gondor? This isn't the time. Next time's the time. Thank you for watching. Next time we are gonna declare our war on Gondor because we're actually stronger than them. So by my rules, I think that means that we should declare a war, right? I was basically just powering up until we were their equal. We are their equal. So now we might as well have all their land. So thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.